Okay, it's Tuesday, it's after work, it's about 5.30 uh, p.m., and the Petco closes at 7. They told me to come later in the day because then they will have gotten their new stock in and been able to put them in their tanks and everything. So we're going to head over to Petco once more and see if they have any of the things that we are looking for. Let's go. Ah, well, <laughs> note to self. Do not go to Petco in the future without calling ahead to make sure they actually got their stock shipment. Because unfortunately, they did not get their shipment today and they said they're probably not getting it tomorrow either. And they're not sure when they'll get it. So no new fish again. I will call ahead next time and see if they have it. And uh, hopefully at some point there will be new Corys, new Auto Sinkless, maybe some new Mono Shrimp. So I've decided to go ahead and put the Harlequin Resboras into the main tank, see how they're doing. I haven't had any trouble before in the past getting fish from my local Petco. They're very nearby, so they probably actually have very similar water parameters. The only issue would be any potential for disease, which I was there a few days ago and I, I just came back today and I looked into the Harlequin Resboras tank that they had and everyone looked nice and healthy still. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Let's, uh, let's go to that. swimming around and enjoying their time a little bit in a normal tank and hanging out with the neon tetras. So yeah, it's really exciting to have new fish in my tank after like months of not having uh, any new fish in the tank. Already started to get their color back after only being in here for like 10 minutes maybe. So that's really great to see. Look at those colors coming in. browning happening here on this flame moss from the issue that we had with the tank that I explained in the last video. I'm kind of wondering if I should take this as a sign to just remove all of the flame moss and replace it with a non-moss plant so that we stop having this issue where moss ends up all over the tank. By the way, I'm aware that there's a giant thing of hairy algae here, and I've actually left it because the shrimp seem to enjoy it, and I'm gonna get some autos and see if they eat it. I'm probably gonna remove it eventually, especially if I end up removing the, the flame moss. But right now, it's really unsightly. Basically, I'm treating it as, as free food, and it doesn't seem to be spreading anywhere. Hey, Julian from the future here, editing this video. I have some sad news to relay. Unfortunately, quite a few of the Harlequin Resporas that were in the tank didn't make it. I don't really know what happened. It was incredibly sad. I didn't film 
any of this because it just didn't seem necessary to film this and put it in the video, but I thought I should let you know that of the 10 Harlequin Resporas I bought, only two of them have made it. It's been over two weeks, I think, now since all of this footage was filmed, and those two are still doing fine. They're eating well, they're, they seem to be doing okay. The other eight pretty much died over the course of about two days after putting them in the tank. I'm not really sure what happened. I think that it may have to do with just they weren't very healthy. In, the, in a lot of this close-up footage, you can see that many of them have bits of their fins missing. I think it's possible they were being kept in a tank at Petco with a more aggressive fish. I'm not really sure. Uh, it's really sad. It's something that happens sometimes. And I'm not really sure if having them in quarantine for longer would have helped them out. They haven't affected any of my other fish, so I don't think it was a disease. If it was a disease, then it was one that doesn't affect neon tetras or corys or any of my other livestock. So that is a plus, but harlequin resporas are schooling fish, so having just two is not great. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I don't want to get rid of the last two, but I'm also scared of getting more of them and having a similar thing happen. So. I might just look into a really good place online that I can order some Harlequin Resporas to have a proper school of them and just, I don't know, cross my fingers and hope that everything goes okay. Anyway, I'd rather not end this video on such a sad note when this was supposed to be a happy video about getting new fish. So here is some more footage of the tank and I'm actually editing a few videos today. So stick around for the next video that will be up very soon.